Good morning, everyone. Hi, my name is Jared Wise. I'm the Vice President of Marketing and Business Development with Better Business Bureau, with your Better Business Bureau. I'm also here with Pearl Yan. How are you doing, Pearl? Good. <laughs> Glad to be here today. <laughs> Pearl is our communications specialist, and she put this fantastic presentation together uh, today. And we will be going over uh, building an award-winning Torch Awards entry for our next Skill Builder series. So thank you all for joining us today. Uh, now, if you have any questions, um, which you may have some, uh, just fill it in the questions bar on the right-hand side of your um, of your taskbar, and just put in the questions on that uh, screen that says questions. And at the end of our presentation today, we'll answer those questions. So just go ahead and, and um, um, get kind of that 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 typewriter that that, that <laughs> keyboard ready with those questions because you'll probably have them too. So uh, we hope that you will enter. So as an accredited business or a non-accredited business. Uh, this award will allow you to um, showcase your ethics to the community if you're a winner. So it's an exciting opportunity. You know, we had three winners last year um, and they were very excited about their winnings because this is an award that is a little bit above what you would normally think of a, any kind of award out there, more than any kind of a vanity award you may get for your business because this is built on ethics. So uh, of anything a business owner would create you know, uh, as thinking about the future of where their business would be, this is the best showcase for that because it does show your ethics in the community. So we're excited to have this. It's a free entry. So again, we hope you enter. Uh, we just have about a month and a half left. Uh, but right now, let's dive right into uh, how to build an award-winning entry. So I'm going to have Pearl uh, start off with um, some of our topics that we're going to be discussing today. Uh, again, my name is Jared, and we have Pearl here, so that's our contact information. And then Pearl will talk about what we're going to be covering today. Perfect. So today we'll be covering what BBB is, what we stand by, so we're going to go over our mission and vision with you. Then we're going to move on to Torch Awards and a little bit of an overview. So we're going to go over the eligibility, how to apply, the judging process, the criteria, and lastly, what you will win. Which is the most exciting part. Yeah, of course. You have to wait <laughs> All that hard work, yeah. All right, so what is BBB? So BBB is an unbiased nonprofit that sets and upholds high standards for fair and honest business behavior. We help people find and recommend businesses, brands, and charities they can trust. And there are over 100 BBB locations across the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Over um, the Bay Area, we have 13 counties that we serve in our BBB. So from the peninsula all the way up to Oregon is our service service area. And if your business is within our service area, you can enter for the tour towards entry. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, our mission and vision. Our mission is to be the leader in advancing marketplace trust. And our vision is an ethical marketplace where buyers and sellers trust each other. All right, so moving to the Torch Awards overview. So this program was designed for businesses to gain public recognition, promote the importance of ethical business practices, and ensure a marketplace remains fair and honest. So it was really designed to celebrate ethical businesses and promote a fair and honest marketplace. It really emphasized our vision. So an ethical marketplace is very important for us, and we hope that we can help businesses do the same and show that they're an ethical business with this award. And yeah, so we're gonna move on to the eligibility. So who can enter? This award is just not limited to any particular kind of business. In fact, any for-profit business headquartered in our 13 county service area can enter. So the counties are Alameda, San Mateo, San Francisco, Contra Costa, Solano, Napa, Sonoma, Marin, Humboldt, Lake, um, Mendocino, Trinity and Del Norte. So if you are in the 13 service areas, I would highly suggest you do apply. And accreditation is not required as mentioned earlier, but a business does need to maintain a B rating or better in, in order to qualify to be considered for this recognition. And your business must be in operation for at least three years and can't have won the BBB Torch Awards within the last three years. And the business must not have any government affiliations. So I bet you're all excited and ready to apply. <laughs> so how do you apply? It's all done online at bbb at go.bbb.org forward slash sf dash torch awards. And we'll show you how to do that later on mm -hmm. in this webinar. And the form includes a save and uh, resume later feature, which we'll show you as well. You can actually 
um, start your form and then go back to it in case you want to edit any parts of your application. And businesses and customers can nominate a business using our online form, which we'll show you as well. And we want to mention again that it is free to enter and applications are due April 6th. And if you win, um, your winnings are also free. So I know with some awards, you have to purchase a statuette or a plaque afterwards. We give that all free. Uh, so you also get your winnings free. You don't have to purchase a separate statuette. We will actually give that to you if you're a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So next, we're going to move on to the judging process. So there are five categories based on the total number of employees, and it breaks down like this. So on the screen, you can see it's 1 to 10 employees, 11 to 49, 50 to 99, 100 to 499, and 500 and plus. So you can apply for one of those categories, and one winner will be awarded in each category. So there will be five winners total. And then entries are judged by a panel of independent judges who are community members, such as professors, media, chamber members, past mayors, etc. So it'll be a great honor to win this award. And the six judging criteria carry a maximum point value of 10 points each, totaling of 60 points. So we'll dive into those six criteria into the next slides, and Jared will go over um, in detail what the six are and how you can apply them successfully. Yeah, oh, thanks, Pearl, and good job on all that. Um, and now, um, th these are the six criteria that you see on your screen right now. These are the ones that you have to enter individually in order to qualify for the award. So the first one is leadership, commitment, ethical practices. The second one is communication of ethical practices. The third one is leadership practices to unify the organization. The fourth one, organizational commitment to performance. The fifth one, organizational commitment to ethical human resource practices. And the sixth one is organizational commitment to the community. Now I know that looks like a lot of words, so I'm, I'm, we're about to dive into a little bit deeper into what each one of those means. So, and I'll give you a, little, a few examples as well to kind of help with that. And then like Pearl said, at the end, right after we finish these six criteria, we will actually go into the uh, online portal where you can see how we actually, how you can actually do an entry form. Uh, it's, it's very easy to do. It's just a little lengthy uh, because we wanna make sure it's a, a, a enough information for the judges to make a good assessment as to the, um, if they decide that you're a good ethical company. So the first one here that you see is the leadership commitment to ethical practices. Now this is a portion that describes how your leaders in your organization work to uh, basically increase the appearance of their own high character in the organization's culture. So basically this would be something like a copy of a formal code of ethics that has been adopted maybe by your management team or your board of directors, uh, maybe a statement of the leaders uh, personal code of ethics and how this code became personally significant. Uh, it could also be just a personal letter from the CEO that includes a personal statement of his or her commitment to ethical practices, or maybe even a case study or stories of leaders admitting error or, or the need of, for personal change or accepting responsibility and taking corrective action. So just, those are just some, some examples of what you could include in this section. So that's criteria one. The next one is criteria two, which is communication of ethical practices. So we wanna know how your leaders reinforce and build a culture of trust. So, so some examples of this would be something like a, um, maybe how new employees are informed or trained in the organization's ethic policies, ethical policies. Uh, also maybe uh, how ethical behaviors of employees are identified and recognized. Uh, maybe examples of ethical challenges that are faced and how they were solved, maybe in a group setting or a meeting. Um, also, maybe uh, something along the lines of um, use of a character code or content and management or employee meetings. So those are some, just some examples. It could be a variety of those or a mix or just one of those. But those are just some of the examples that we have. And if you do have individual questions, or you'd like us to email some more specific examples as we go through this, just uh, throw your email in the question box and we'll end, or end your question, and we will uh, send that to you as well. Okay, so the third one, leadership practices to unify the organization. Now this will explain the whys of your organization. Why work here? Why be a customer? Why be a supplier? Why we are who we are? 
Uh, now this portion uh, uh, could include something like the how the organizational statements such as your mission or vision uh, have been created and are used to unite the team. So that's just one example of that. Another might be the compensation factors that help to unite the workers, or maybe transparency of and teaching of management information and reports. So this could be a wide variety of the items as well to, uh, to basically show the whys, W-H-Y-S, not W-I-S-E, of your organization. Okay, so criteria four, organizational commitment to performance. Now this will this is about leaders uh, the, a leader's guide to organizational performance by implementing high competency management practices. So this could be something like uh, practices using performance information to encourage, guide, and motivate. Maybe samples of your advertising or promotional materials that you feel particularly exemplify your focus on ethical expression. Uh, it might be how innovation encouraged and how innovation is encouraged and rewarded among your staff. So it could be a wide variety of items here as well. So the next one is organizational commitment to ethical human resource practices. So on this one, the human resource practice that prepare, continually support, recognize, and provide opportunities for growth of all staff members. And that's a key word there is growth. So on this one, um, some examples could be hiring practices maybe that ensure people are hired for character, uh, how employees are involved in the hiring process, um, unique systems and processes for training and preparing your staff, uh, could also be practices and procedures to resolve ethical issues. So again, a wide variety of examples here that you could put in this section too. So the last one, number six, big number six, what are uh, the organizational commitment to the community? So what are ways your organization is engaged with the industry community and just the public at large? So some examples of this could be basically how your leaders, employees participate in industry organizations and activities to basically promote best business practices. It could also be um, how employees are encouraged to and recognized for spending time in community service activities and the organizational values. It could also be proof of achievement with any industry benchmarks for high standards of business ex ex excellence. So this is more focused on what you're doing for your employees and how they can, you know, maybe go do a charitable organization or do something out in the community to help out. I know for us, we work with typically with Alameda County Community Food Bank, which is one of our accredited charities to help donate time for our, our staff to go out and help um, help uh, organize food there, which is always a very exciting time too. We, we love Alameda County Community Food Bank. Um, so that's that's it on the criteria. Again, we're about to dive after Pearl goes through what you would win, which is once again, the most exciting part. <laughs> um, uh, we will go through, I'll take you through our website and we'll show you actually how to do a really quick entry before we wrap up today. So Pearl, go ahead. All right, so for the winners, they will be selected as the BB Torch Awards for Ethics winner. And in the honor, it includes a lot of things. So you'll be included in our press release announcing our winners. You'll also be made visual on our BBB social media channels. Since we are going to be going to each of the businesses, we'll be taking mm -hmm. photos and posting it all over our social media to get your business out there as well. Yeah. And then inclusion in several BBB promotional vehicles, lifetime use of the BBB Torch Award seal, which is very important. That's mm -hmm. one of the main things. You can use to seal all promotional items and be proud of having the seal. And the Torch Award trophy, we will come to the office, as I said earlier, and we'll present that to you and we'll also take a lot of photos and meet everyone and it'll be a great time. So we hope that you apply and maybe you win. Mm -hmm. And then um, you'll also be included in our inclusive 2018 winners video. So we're mm -hmm. gonna be creating a video showing all of our winners and what they've done in the community and you're gonna be a part of it. So it's gonna be really exciting and we're excited to have you. Yeah, and it was, it was, it was really fun last year when we went to visit the Torch Award winners it was just a great atmosphere because this this is also a little bit different than a lot of awards that you may be used to is that we do those in-person visits to your office so it's not just about your it's not just about your leadership 
that's there that you know usually would come to basically a banquet or something we want to get the whole staff involved with your entire office because we think that's a really important because your staff are the backbone of what makes your office operate and builds those ethics. So we want to celebrate with your staff. So it was really fun. We, we, we escrow.com, uh, cast drop group, and wedge roofing were our winners last year. We went to all of those offices in the, the, the peninsula of San Francisco, in San Francisco area and also in Petaluma where uh, wedge roofing is and gave the award last year. And it was very exciting. The entire staff um, was, was there and there was obviously food was awesome <laughs> there was a there was a banquet within the office but also we gave the pack, pack presentation we filmed a great video we promote heavily through social media like pearl said and press releases so it's great media attention it's great attention for your community if you win this award so we highly encourage you again like i said it's free which is the best part of the best part of it all well actually the best part is winning <laughs> but the second best part is that it's free. So um, so now I'm going to go out of here. So you're going to see your screen change a little bit. Um, so what's going to happen is I'm going to show you how to find um, the uh, Torch Awards page and then how to do a quick entry. So this won't take very long. I just want to give you an example of how you can do this and use the save feature as well. So it's go.bbb.org slash sf dash torch awards and if you click that you're going to come to our microsite which you see on your screen right now uh, you should be seeing on your screen right now so on this microsite if you scroll down there's a section about this about sections a good section to read first because this gives you what we basically went over in our webinar today uh, basically all the criteria and what how you can qualify for a torch award and then this is the entry form so uh, even if you're nominated, you still have to complete the entry form. So the entry form is long. Uh, it's about nine to 10 pages long. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Well, that's the submit button. So yeah. you're, that's a freebie. So, <laughs> so it's about nine, uh, nine sections long. Um, it, it does take a little bit of time to gather some of the elements. So don't wait to the last minute. Um, but it's an easy application because it's all done online. So when you scroll down on the entry form, once you click in it, um, you'll put this section that says start and it will start your application. Now, if you just want to start one just to have it, all you have to do is put in the organization's name. So we'll just call this Jared's Plumbing. And that's how you spell my name, by the way. <laughs> I think my grandma still spells it J-E-R-E-D. <laughs> so, so, uh, so you go in here and then uh, uh, you want to check this box right here that says that you have not gathered the required information. Because like I said, it'll take a little bit of time to complete. And then scroll down to the bottom. I mean, if you can, if you have the time, go and fill out all this information. This is your entry form, the first section. And then you can continue to each criteria. So I want to continue to criteria one. I type in basically a summary in this section. So I'll type in my summary that basically, and once again, kind of like we went through with the with the webinar, these give examples of what you could put in as well. So the examples are right here up front. Um, so if you just use these examples, this will be your guide for each of the criteria. So our suggestion is to write like a synopsis in here, basically a couple paragraphs, maybe longer, depending on how de detailed you want to get. And then always put uh, backup documents. So this upload feature right here, this will allow you to upload from your computer, your desktop, any uh, backup documents that you would have for this particular section. Uh, you can put as many as you'd like, I believe, as many as you like on here. Um, and so just upload any documents that would back up your statements here. Like once again, if it's a statement or a personal letter from your CEO, you want to up upload that. Um, so upload this feature and then you can save the feature. So when you push save, if you want to continue, you can do that too. But when you push the save button, no matter where you're at, if you want to continue to criteria two, get that done, maybe criteria three, get that done. You can click this, you can click this save button. And what it's going to do is it's going to generate a link for you. So this link can either be copied. So you can copy the link here or you can just email it to me or email it. So for this, you can just email it to you and you'll always have that link in your email. So I can send that and now I will have this link in my email. So now I can come back 
whenever I want, maybe next week when I get maybe another backup document, I can click this link that I got in my email and I can go back to my entry form and I can complete where I left off. And you can always go back and forth. So you can go back to criteria two, you can go forward. And then when you're at the very, very end, then you will continue to references, continue to this, you will submit. So you will submit to set submission page. Once you've checked everything, you will submit it. Um, at that point, it will come to us internally and uh, it'll be logged. So once you put the submit button, that actually is the final version of your, of your um, Torch Award entry. So as you continue to save, that won't be the final version. The final version will, will be when you click that submit button. So that's a brief overview of how to kind of do the entry form. Um, everyone has until April 6th, which is Friday, um, and by, at, by 5 p.m. to get their full entry in. Again, everything's done through this online portal. Once you click submit, it's to us, and it will go to our judges in April for uh, judging and evaluation. And again, it's free. Once you click the submit button, you don't have to do anything else. You're more than welcome to check back with us, either Pearl or myself or your account manager, to see if that entry form has come in, if you're a little concerned that maybe you didn't make it or something of that nature. So um, that's something to think about also. So anyway, that's a little background of that. We'll go back to our, um, let me go back to our presentation here. Let me see here, pardon me, as we kind of get ready, there we go. And I think I'm not that skilled on my PowerPoint to basically start at the same spot that we ended. So I'm clicking back through to the winnings and um, leave it up to Pearl with, yeah. with our social media. So I just wanted to mention we are on seven different platforms. So they are listed here if you do want to follow us on any of those. We have a lot of tips and we also have reminders about the Torch Awards and when to enter, when the deadline is. So give us a follow if you are on any of them. We also have great business tips. We're pretty active on all of them. So if you do have questions, you can also contact us on social media. We post about three times on Facebook a day and five on Twitter. So we're pretty active and we're always going to look at your messages. So yeah. feel free to reach out to us. And Pearl manages that, works that herself. So yeah, so uh, she does a really good job. Thank you. And then lastly, if you do have any additional questions, you can email us at communications at bbbemail.org or visit go.bbb.org forward slash SF dash Torch Awards for more information. Good. Well, great. I mean, so that's pretty much it for the webinar itself. Now we'll open it up to questions. So if you do have questions, feel free to go ahead and put it in the question bar on the right, and we'll uh, start to answer some of those. So uh, we did receive one about the examples. So I know that, uh, so um, for anybody asking questions about examples, like I said, it is on that section in the Torch Award section. We can always email some as well, but uh, in that Torch Award section, it'll show you those examples. So if I go back to criteria four, for instance, uh, the examples will actually be uh, right here. So this will give you some ideas of um, basically how to uh, put together that entry to make it really robust. And the more detailed, the better. So for each of these criteria and anything you upload, the more details for the judges that you can give them to really go that show that you've gone above and beyond is gonna be helpful. The more organized, the better. The more visuals, the better, the more detailed, the better, because you're being judged against uh, businesses in several different industries. You're not judged against businesses within your necessarily in your own industry, but across the platform in all the Bay Area. So um, it, it's it, it's quite the honor, but you just want to make sure that you get a good quality entry in there, too. Uh, another question is uh, uh, basically, how do I know if. Uh, an application was already started for our business, and how do I know if we have been nominated? So, if you're nominated, um, you will be you will be uh, your account manager will reach out to you and let you know to basically enter the entry form. So, here's the link to the entry form, and this is how you enter it. Uh, for those that have already started, um, if maybe you know. Um, you can always reach out to us. So just feel free to reach out to your account manager and uh, ask, and we'll be able to tell you if that entry has been started 
And if you can't find the link, we can send you, we can email you the link. So we can go in our system and actually email you the link if you've lost it, or maybe someone else with your organization maybe started it. So just feel free to reach out to your camp manager or either myself or Pearl or the communications email and we'll be able to uh, help you with that. Uh, do we have a link for this application or is it on the web? Um, yes. So the application form is on the website. That's probably one of the easiest. So again, it's go.bbb.org forward slash SF dash Torch Awards. So I'm also gonna type it in the box for everybody so you have it. Um, and once again, if you get kind of lost on being able to find it, just let us know. Just reach out to your account manager or us and we'll be able to send you the link directly too. But I'm emailing you all the, uh, the link to that right now. Or I'm not emailing, I'm, I'm putting it in the questions box, sorry. <laughs> uh we make the powerpoint uh available by email yes so uh if you are interested in the powerpoint uh just email uh, us on this email here let me get the powerpoint back up oh my goodness there we go boom i'm not going to uh, subject everybody for me going through and clicking through each one but there's our there's our email right there communications at babemail.org uh just email us that and we'll send you the powerpoint if you're interested in the powerpoint as well um uh, another question uh, my clients are reporting to me that they did not did review my business but i do not see the reviews posted uh and right now uh we are um it looks like my clients are reporting to me that they didn't did review my business but i do not see the reviews posted so uh for that uh, um for that individual uh, i'll reach out to you directly uh, you might be talking about something else, but I want to make sure I get your question clear. So I'll reach out to you directly about that one. Um, and then also another question, is that .com? So no, uh, it's, it's .org. So again, it's uh, go.bb.org slash sf dash torch awards. It's a little, it's a little funky URL, but uh, it was trying to make it shorter and easier to use. But it is a .org. Uh, any other questions? clicking through real quick to make sure I haven't missed anything so again this will be recorded as well and we're going to we're going to put this on our YouTube page uh, there is a section on our YouTube page just so you're aware with all of our webinars um, let me see if I can get it up for you uh, I was going to show you our YouTube page real quick before we jump off here and show you where all those recorded webinars are and I believe our YouTube, is it youtube.com slash ggbbb? Mm -hmm. It's on the social media. Oh, it's on the social media section. On the section too. So it is, it's uh, just Golden Gate Better Business Bureau. You can just type that in into your search bar on YouTube and you'll be able to find our page. Oh, our commercial's playing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. And that's our commercial, yeah, yay, awesome yeah. So, and, and so here's the webinars also. The, the webinar for today will be recorded and will be put in this slot right here. So, but you can also watch other webinars we've done in the past that would help with your, uh, just overall with your business. We have cybersecurity information, advertising information, building relationships. So feel free to share these with your staff and watch these as well. Uh, they're good educational series. Um, so beyond that, uh, if there are no other questions, let me look one more sec time through our questions section to make sure that we tried to answer everything like on your site. It uh, looks like we got that taken care of. Okay, it looks like we're all done. But uh, again, if you have any questions um, along the way, feel free to reach out to us. Again, it's that communications at bbbemail.org. And several people get this URL, I'm sorry, get this email. So we'll make sure that you get your response answered in a timely manner too. And again, feel free to reach out to your account manager as well, uh, who will help guide you through the application process if you still have questions too. So anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Um, thank you for attending. And again, if you have any questions along the way, reach out to us, reach out to your account manager. Uh, we would love for everybody to enter. I think we had close to 30 entries last year, full entries. Um, so uh, we want to beat that this year. So please enter, um, and uh, we hope that uh, we, 
hope you get you enter, and uh, we hope that uh, you someone win. <laughs> I said you win because we then everybody would win. So, but we want to wish you all good luck. And uh, again, you have till Friday, April sixth uh, of this year to get that completed entry in, and then um, that should be it. Uh, one more question before we jump off: How many entries uh, do we have last year? We had close to thirty last year, uh, thirty full entries, but we had I think near a hundred that were incomplete. So. Uh, once again, don't forget that uh, you have to complete and submit your entry um, in order, and you have to push the submit button in order for us to be able to send it to the judges for evaluation. Um, and then the webinar, and I got another question before we jump off again, will this webinar be online too? Yes. So the webinar will be on our YouTube channel. Um, again, it's, um, oh, what was it? Is it Golden Gate BB? And you can just type in Golden Gate Better Business Bureau on YouTube and you'll yeah. be able to find our page. Yeah, on YouTube. Go, so just type in Golden Gate Better Business Bureau on this section. Ah. Um, and then you will see this commercial pop up, but you'll also see these educational webinars. Uh oh. Doors opening again. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, you'll see the educational webinar series right here. So this will be where uh, the new one would be uploaded this week uh, for Torch Awards as well. So anyway, it looks like um, that was the last question. So we hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and good luck on your Torch Award entry. Again, it's free to enter. I highly recommend it. Um, it would be good for you, your organization. You're, if you're not the CEO and you're on this call, your CEO will be very happy if you win. So just FYI, it's a really good opportunity. So good luck to everyone. If you have any questions, reach out and have a fantastic rest of the week. Bye, y'all.